course, this is to the normal difficulty. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are my list of ups sure. Up up sure? I'm just gonna call him up sure. An investigate an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to take risks, digging into the stories no no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. Record everything, sorry. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of the Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Well, nice. Anyways, welcome guys to the original Outlast playthrough that I said I was gonna do. So right now I'm doing it. I'm not, um, it's not at night actually. Um, it's like two o'clock in, in the afternoon. Uh, but that doesn't matter. Uh, so, I hope you enjoy that first of all. Secondly, uh, get a drink. I got this cup of coffee right here. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna do tea, but then I was like, well, you know what? I'm feeling coffee today. And we are driving up to a abandoned asylum. Something I wouldn't do myself ever. Don't do it. Oh, there we go. Some exposition. September 17, 2013, from MuteMail.com to Miles. Gmail.com. Subject, illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatri Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand that. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Let me close out that. Grab my uh, trusty camera. And it has, actually has a light on it, that is good. So here we are going, I think. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you get, spook get some spooks. Check this out, update it on reporter's notebook, press tab, containing notes, in and pick up documents. Notes, documents. Alright, cool. And we'll just, uh, we'll just record that we're going in, I guess. Alright guys, press end to read it. Start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get off this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Alright, fun times. I'm gonna change the sensitivity. This is ridiculous. Put that, put that a little lower. There we go. Much better. What's with the scary, scary sounds already? All right, press, let's turn and press shift. Let's see. Mount Massive Asylum. Uh, nope, that's that's closed. All right. Let's see, there are armored trucks outside. That's never good. Uh, that's never a good sign with an asylum. All right, look at that. We can crouch through this. There's a door there. Should we should we try the door? Nope, that, that's not working. Oh, there's an open window, so... And here we go, guys. Into the asylum. The sound is really loud. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna have to change that as well. Just a little bit. Because, I mean, I do like... do like an auditory scare. Press F? Alright. Oh, night, night vision uses battery life. Alright. I can't see anything. I didn't think... Okay, that was our first scare of the day, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Not very creepy. And my phone. F oh, I know what this is. I've seen it. It's in the... Because you can't really look uh, look to your right. That's going to scare me. I've seen that before. Oh, whoops. I thought I meant to do... Uh, not efficient. Oh, look. Secret documents. Let's pick those up. Press J. All right, let's look those up. Morocco Psychiatric Systems... Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive Co, case number 174. Consult data, it's not important. Age 19, gender male, observing uh, Dr. Carl Houston. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream status. Stasis, sorry. 
morthonogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Or schedule. I don't know how you pronounce that. Diagnostics. Spir spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hemodocrit centrifuge again failed to separate and erythrocytes highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM, REM cycle. Laughter in NRM state. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a, catastroph a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claim that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger, notes the only Traeger and company records of Richard Traeger is an exclusive from MRD, executive from MRD, I'm my bad. All order lies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytic biometrics. Murkov, all right, uh, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna apologize for my uh, pretty bad pronunciation of some words. I am not a na native English speaker. I think that's, that is already known. Can I go in here? There is somebody in here. No, I can't, okay. Uh, let's see, cola, drink it. All right, now. No, ho, ho. thank you. Uh, thank you for your trash. All right, there's nothing in here. I think. Can I get a coke? No. One seventy-five. That's ridiculous. Holy crap! That is expensive. Uh, well, no, actually, that's F. Okay, we can't go there. Clearly, no sane reporter. Holy shit. Oh, that actually scared me. That wasn't even very much a scare. Alright. Let's see. We're good, we're good. Let's uh, let's go in here, the library. Uh, let's see if we can see anything in here. Alright, let's just go. Well, he's dead. Rest in peace, my man. Oh, there's another one. There is definitely another one. This music is so loud. I am, I am just... My god. This is ridiculous. My ears are bleeding right now. My fucking phone! Can I look at you? Whoa. They killed us. You got out. The very... You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors. Security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Oh man, I'm sorry, dude. Oh, dude, this guy uh, got fucked. Oh, that is that is the guy. There is somebody there. I don't want to go outside. There's somebody there. Stop breathing. You're making this way more difficult than it should be. All right, you know what? We're we're, we're cool guys, right? Wait. We know how to, we know how to run. Okay, he's calming down. All right. It's just, uh, oh yeah, we can't look. Okay, funny. Ha ha. This <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whoops. And who are you? Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. New objective, escape the asylum. Like I wasn't already trying that. Hold on while I, while I put my phone away. Stupid phone. Getting messages and shit. Uh, man, everybody just ate shit in here. It's like his entrails are in there. Or his insides. I don't know, is entrails the right word? Let's look that up. Um, I'm not sure what the answer to that is because I have to do that in post, but I'm sure I'll put it on the screen. Thanks in advance, myself. Oh, oh I just walked over his, oh my gosh, that is, no, no thank you. I need some batteries though. You got some batteries in there, mate? Are those batteries? Oh, no, I think that's a, I hate the zooming sound in this one. 
was way better in the in the in the, the second demo. So far, I'm loving the atmosphere right now. Oh, like it's giving me the creeps. Whew. Let's pull the blood. Oh, there's a. Let's look at that. What is that? J. Patient initial CLG Walker 136. It's again the War Rider. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage three hormone schedule. Uh, spi spirometry. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patient's reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraint. Following his self-inflicted mutilations, restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with field morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Chuatara lizards and their peri parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderly should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas has he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seems to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation of amplified by... What? His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a man manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Alright, and I really need some batteries, like I'm, over, I'm nearly out. Can I go in here? No. Uh, there's a guy here. Hey, how you doing buddy? Everything alright? You don't, you, don't, you don't look so good. Uh, do you have a nose? Hmm, maybe not. Wait, somebody's writing. Oh, no, wait, that's actually me, isn't it? I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood burn marks. Head lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientist hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Uh, yeah. Crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. You, you, want, you want a coke? We could, we could, we could, we, we could go back and get some coke. Hey. What's up? Yeah, you look healthy. That's, that's normal. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll get that fixed. There's a phone. Still no batteries. Which is kind of annoying. Can I crawl through here? I can. I have to put on the night vision again. Um, she do I? No, I don't. Oh boy, that's that's definitely a dead guy. Press left mouse and pick up the keycard. Pick up the keycard for security control. All right. Oh, I think I can open the door. All right, sweet. Still no batteries, and I'm already out. Nearly out. Does the two mean I still have left two, or does that mean there's two inside of the camera? I don't know. I think I have to go back. Hi, mate. Whoa! Fucking shit. I do. I don't. I don't mind helping you, but you don't need. You don't want to kill me. Oh, maybe I killed him. I think, depending on what time it is, as I've been recording for quite a while, I've been recording for 20 minutes. Let's go for five more minutes, and then we'll call it a day, right? So I think this should open this door. No. Um. Well, then what the fuck am I supposed to do then? Oh, did I wander in the in the in the right room by accident? I thought. Okay. Well, that might be it. Um. Stop walking over dead bodies, that's really fucked up. He said I can't leave the way I came. Oh, oh, I don't know. If it, okay, I'm not going in there right now. If that gives me the, you can look behind you uh, thing, then I'm not, I'm not going anywhere near there. Fuck that, dude. All right, let's go in here. This, this seems spooky. <gasps> Batteries? Oh, sweet, I needed those. All right, well, somebody had some explosive diarrhea while they were on here. Judging from what I want to do or what I need to do. I don't particularly want to go down here, but I don't really want to go in there either. Okay, let's let's read this. There's a security room. The electric room is downstairs. The library is upstairs, but we can't go upstairs. Gee, can we? <gasps> Holy shit! Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. So let's just um, okay, let's just go in here, I guess. What the fuck? I don't really want to do this, but uh, let's go. Let's go, guys. We got no fear. I say that while I'm like being a little bitch. This is gonna scare me, isn't it? 
Oh, there's a note. I'm already beat to all hell. All to hell. Picking broken glass out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs. Nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fucking to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up some dodgy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit. Calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. Jesus, that's somebody's. That's somebody's face. Oh God. I didn't. I didn't ask for this. 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 This is disgusting. <laughs> I knew it was bad, but damn. When you play it yourself, you just realize that there's like dead stuff everywhere. Oh, batteries! Nice. I don't know what the fuck I just heard, and I don't want to know. It's been five minutes already. I want to quit this game. Oh no, it hasn't. Shit. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're gonna continue then. Are you ready, guys? One, two, three, go. Well, that was not that scary. It was just a lamp. But somebody did. Close me door. Get up me door. Let's stop being little bitches. Oh, I think I got a key card for this shit. Um, yeah, I got, I do, but I don't see anything useful in here. All right, let's look on the computer. Because clearly we have time for that. Accessing security systems. There's something on this jump scare. I can't move further than this. It's saving, it's saving. Why is it saving? I am hearing something. I am getting inside this fucking locker right now. Record this shit. Hey, it's that guy. The guy who got uh, his face fucked started with the cheese grater. Right by fuck face. Let's call him cheese face. That makes him less scary. Bye, cheese face. I'm still hearing him. Okay. I don't think he... Okay, let's, let's, let's book it. Let's book it. Whew. All right, phew. All right, we need to go to the generator, which is now open, apparently. There's a, there's a hole in the wall here. All right. Oh, is this a journal? Oh, it is. Sweet. All right, we read this, and then we, and then we quit. Two files. Subject, hypnotic experimentation and research, February 10th. 1954 on Wednesday 10th February 1954 hypnotic experimentation and research work has continued in building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects material abridged a post a post hypnotic of the night before pointed finger you will sleep was enacted mrs jackson and pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion miss pierce was then instructed having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion that she would use every method at her disposal to awake miss jackson now with a deep hypnotic hypnotic sleep and failing this she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at miss jackson she was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill jackson for failing to awake miss pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused, in an awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that foregoing sequence had happened. Right, so what I'm getting from this is that they are like forcing people to go into like a dream stasis and that they can tell people to do things which they will then do and then they will when they will when they wake up they won't remember it that is pretty bad i don't i don't get what's with the whole wall rider thing and that uh, he like he expresses fears of his own skin and he's self mutilating i don't know what that's about let's see if maybe i have a new note I do, big fucking guy. The big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for Chris Walker, ex-military police. Several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands. But not all of it. Wait, that's Chris Walker. Wait, the big guy is Chris Walker? I thought that was... Did I read this? No, I did read that. Okay, hold on. I thought that was uh, Billy. Age 19, general male. So I thought it was... Is this Chris Walker? Because this is the... I don't know, I don't think this is cheese phase. Anyway, we're gonna save and then we're gonna quit. Um, because that has been this, it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed, hope you got spooked. We're gonna do the entire game um, in the month of October because Halloween. And we are very original with what we do. So if you enjoyed, leave a like. Uh, leave, leave a subscribe. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you like if you like to see more and get notified. But again, we're dealing with YouTube here. So you might not get notified, but I always appreciate any, any subscriptions or likes. Leave a comment if you want. 
And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And I hope you uh, enjoyed. Bye.